also you know, uh, Island Studies Network, where I talk with Prince Edward's Island, Islands and have contact with New Folland before that. These are actually networks based on joint research and student exchange. And they are, were, would be very happy to see Fair Islands in their network. Based on an email I sent out saying uh, on a vague idea and an in, and, 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 uh, and, uh, invitation to this conference, I received an email saying, well, this looks very exciting, what, what do you do? Uh, what we do, we would like to be a business part on that. Taking a further meeting on that, uh, me, just to, to meet him, talk, talking further on, it turns out, well, they may have access to further funding and would definitely like to have some research and development and investment on Pharaohs based on one email, one, one hour meeting. They go into further. So there is an interest. When they hear about it, they would like to le learn some more. Based on this, we all, we, on, on, on our knowledge now, on our uh, project management and our networks, we are already in EU projects of different kinds. Fishery management application, uh, sustainable food, uh, oceanography, of course, uh, wave energy, and looking at what's going on in the Nordic countries, trying, trying to get a, a demonstration site for clean technologies, energy technologies, climate technologies, we should be a natural choice for any Nordic action on climate and fishery. Not as a sole state, but in a network. But here comes the interesting part on climate. How about the developing countries? Could we do anything there? Could we do anything on a UN scale? Yes, we can. Clean development mechanism. One of these flexible mechanisms, making investments in CO2 reduction in other, in other countries, uh, some say, uh, say, that, say, say that it's instead of doing something uh, uh, by himself, but actually integrate it in the Kyoto Protocol to facilitate technology transfer and reduce CO2 uh, reduction. Uh, something wrong there. There are, developing countries are actually dependent on this technology transfer to, keep, to get to any sustainable development without emitting more CO2. Out of the 3,188 CDM project that has been underway or already established by 1st of April, there is not one single of them related to marine environment, ocean or fishery. Which means that nobody has looked, have tried, used this mechanism that is actually made for technology transfer on technology transfer in marine technology. On this email, I got responses from India, Philippines, and Bangladesh. Say, well, we think it's very relevant what you're doing. So there should be also be possible for UN funding. And I met with UNEP Center, the research, who was actually looking at mechanisms for technology transfer, which their researches are included in the IBCC research, and looking at how could we do something about finding solution on things. So my conclusion is, based on this very brief research saying that SASET is feasible, we have the ability, we can get the visibility, we can get some funding, but only if we offer the Faroe Society as a laboratory for implementation for, uh, for our sustainable vision. If we have a basic secured funding, so there's somebody staying behind, being able to, to, to deliver the further fundraising that's needed. So there's a stable network, so there's somebody who, is, who actually has the network that's necessary 
for, for this establishment. I'll much. stop here and let this be on the stage. Thank you.